afternoon. It's good to be with you today again. And I want to encourage you again. I want to encourage people. That's what the Bible calls us to do, encourage people. I'm going to ask you the question, has somebody ever wronged you? Has somebody lied maybe about you? Has they uh, spoke, uh, spoke ill about you? Have they done something evil in, in your mind at least? And the answer, I think, to all of us, we'd say yes. We've had people do that. And how do we handle that? You know, sometimes we want to take things in our own hand and we do things back to them. I want to encourage you today. The way to find victory in your life is to free that person and to free yourself. Romans 12, 19 says, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. So if somebody's wronged you, let it in God's hands. Vengeance is his, he says, I'll repay. So in other words, pray for that person if they've wronged you. Just pray for them. Turn them over to God. Now, trust me, in our flesh, we, we want to do things. I realize that, but we should not. Turn over to God. You free God up to do what he wants to do. And then he frees you up when you say, Father, forgive them. They don't even know what they're doing. And he does that. Because here's the thing. Some people say, I'll pray for them, all right? It's like that country song that says, I'll pray that a, a rock falls on their head. I pray their brakes fail. No, don't pray that kind of prayer. Pray, pray that God will bless them. Because you see, when you pray a blessing on your supposed enemy or somebody who's done something wrong to you, it frees God up to bless you and also to take care of them. If God needs to take, retribution needs to be had, let God do it because he sees the heart. He knows the intent. God's perfect in all his ways. You and I are not. So today, free yourself up. To, to live victoriously in Christ, to live a free mind in Christ, and let God fight your battles. God bless you today, and may we realize today that good vengeance is the Lord's, and He'll repay. We don't have to even worry about that. Live your life in Jesus Christ.